Hi, this is State Representative Tony Huang. I'm here at the Kennedy Center's executive offices with two board members that have been absolutely instrumental to the mission and service of what the Kennedy Center is all about. We have Mary Brown, who has been with the center since the beginning. Well, no, and not since the beginning, but uh, almost 35 years. 35, oh, geez, just a couple of years <laughs> of spare, right? Yeah. Um, and, and your daughter is a client of the Kennedy Center. My daughter is a client and has benefited probably from over, almost every program. Well, provide. Mary's especially poignant for me because it was her speech and her presentation six years ago that brought the Kennedy Center to my attention and has never left my thoughts since. And, and could you share what the Kennedy Center means to you and, and, and what it means to you as a parent, but also obviously for your daughter? Well, the Kennedy Center, first of all, as a parent, is a, an answer from God because um, at the age of uh, 21, she was leaving a program and she needed to be placed somewhere and the Kennedy Center felt they could uh, incorporate her into their programs. She's legally blind, profoundly deaf, and severely brain damaged. She has no verbal skills. And she has gone from being in the sheltered workshop into community experience. I'm kind of oversimplifying, but she's been in a day program since she came. And she now, it'll be three years, February 20th, that she is in a residential placement, which has been um, wonderful. Uh, she feels, uh, she who has no communication skills, as I say, um, has two homes. She, when I go there to pick her up, she can't wait to leave, and I bring her back, and she walks away from me like I wasn't even with her, and they all hug her, and they tell me how much they love her, and she loves them. So she's got two homes, and um, so it's been primarily, I'm grateful because of a kind of life that has been provided for her through the Kennedy Center programs, but it has to also my husband and I have benefited as well because it gives us peace of mind and we have she has siblings that also can look forward to a, a good way of life because she has places to be and and the group home is an essential part of the long-term services of the Kennedy Center another big component of the Kennedy Center is the job enrichment program the job placement program for of uh, the development disabled. Um, can you speak a little bit more about it? And this is Stephen Smith, uh, past board president, uh, you know, board member in permanence. <laughs> um, can you talk a little bit more about the role of the Kennedy Center to, to build out career aspirations and, and career goals? And, and uh, um. Absolutely, thank you, Tony. My daughter Allison is uh, 32 years old. She's reasonably high functioning. Um, we've, been, we've been fortunate to have the Kennedy Center come into our lives. Allie gets job coaching from the Kennedy Center. They found her a job. She's a housekeeper at Stern Village, which is an assisted living facility right here in Trumbull. Um, she doesn't drive. She never will drive. But they have a job coach who picks her up every morning, um, takes her to work, makes sure she's set up in her job and she understands what she's supposed to do for the day. They'll stop in periodically during the course of the day to make sure she's on task and on schedule. And at the end of the day, they'll bring her home. Um, she develops a bond with, with the job coaches. They're her friends, and it's more than just a job coaching relationship. And you know, Allie um, is in a position where she's very outgoing, but her opportunities to make friends are somewhat limited. The Kennedy Center provides that as well. Every Thursday night, they have a drop-in center at the Kennedy Center, which Allie participates in. It's a group of maybe 25 or 30 individuals who are developmentally disabled who meet every Thursday night and do things socially. They go, out, they go out to a movie, they'll go to a bluefish game, they'll, they'll make arts and crafts, they'll play games. It's a fabulous Thursday night for her, and it's a Thursday night out for my wife and I. So she is doing things she never would have had the opportunity to do if it wasn't for the Kennedy Center. It fulfills her life, it makes her more well-rounded, and she's made a lot of friends. It's important to her. If you saw her cell phone bill or, <laughs> or, her, or her email account, you would understand what I was talking about. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you know, in, in, in closing, I think one of the things you see from the description of both of these wonderful uh, members and parents is the fact that the ultimate mission of what the Kennedy Center, I'll still always hold dear to me, is with, with uh, Evelyn Kennedy when she said, all is she's looking for is for a child, any child, to have the opportunity to live a full and fulfilling life. And that's all any parent would ask for, and I think the Kennedy Center with 
the complement of, of devoted parents like yourselves provide that kind of service and, and it's something that I'm very proud to be affiliated with and, and I will do my best in every which way to ensure that that, that continues on for another 50 years. So thank you. I have to just add one thing too. We talk about the Kennedy Center and it's a building, but what is the Kennedy Center are the people that staff it and they are without a doubt the best group of people I've ever encountered in my life.